Okay, so now that we got the rotors turned and ended up having to buy new ones of that, um, I'm actually on the next step on the uh, Ford 8.8 .8 rear end that I'm putting in the project truck. So what I ended up doing is I needed to figure out a way to make sure that this side that I cut was going to equal this side. Um, so what I did was I actually found if you measure from the inside where the shaft connects right here until right here until the edge, I did it on both sides. So on this one, I measured from inside here to right here. So now that I cut out, I cut out about two and seven eighths. I actually cut out a little bit more, uh, a little bit less than two and seven eighths. And it gave me a little bit of room to play with. And I did have to, have to trim it down a little bit. But at this point from here to here, I am at 17 and five sixteenths, which is where I need to be. Well, and like I said, guys, you know, every time you do it, measure, measure, measure. As you can see, I'm pretty much dead on. 17 and 5 sixteenths. And uh, what's holding it is two pieces of three inch C, C metal. Um, one on top, one on bottom, big clamps. And what I did was I put the top piece on first. I actually used one of these quick grips. I put it on here like that to hold the bottom one. I squeezed it right about there. It held onto the bottom one enough to get, uh, give me uh, room to put this one. I snugged this one up, and then once it was kind of loose, then I slid this in. Once I slid it in, guys, the one thing you got to do is make sure you give yourself some type of mark to know that this is in the right place. You don't want to twist it here or else it's going to be opposite from that side there. You want them both matching so leave yourself a mark before you actually do your cutting and uh, that way you can line them back up but guys as you do it make sure you measure measure this side measure the back side attack weld it when you turn it measure it again make sure everything's clamped down nice and tight make sure everything's straight before you do your final welds um i mean just if it gets crooked you know i mean it's just gonna jack everything up so just take your time and make sure everything is just straight and um, no rush. All right, guys, so welding is done. Um, I went ahead and left it, this whole uh, welding line. I could grind it down, get it smooth like this. Um, it just kind of gives me peace of mind, even like that. Once I put the four link, if it is in the way, then I'll grind out what's in the way. But honestly, it's gonna be in the back under the, under the bed, so no one's gonna see it. But now, both sides are equal. So my next step is to start putting everything back together so that'll be the next video hope you liked it guys thanks